So I'm putting these little spaces in because they stop the uh, the tubes from rattling around in there. So mm -hmm. there. And uh, we've got the scales here. And we have the anticoagulated whole blood. About, I went over the top because I saw there was a little bit of air in there. So we're only going to be able to use 30 cc's in. I'll just push the line a bit. The one with the red cap is always the first one. That's kind of the first big clue. And then you push and twist these two together. And then slowly to avoid lysing the cells. You don't want those tubes to fill up like that. And you see this plastic thing there? Mm -hmm. You've got to keep your eye on it because I took too much blood, but that was deliberate because I was wanting to make sure we didn't yeah. fall short. Um, keep your eye that that doesn't get too close to the top because we want to still put, see all the blood that's in the tube there? Mm -hmm. So about there, it's probably about 30. I'm leaving a little bit of space because I want to flush that tubing through. Because no matter what happens in the centrifuge, we still have to come back through that blood to get the, the sample out. And in order to keep the neutrophils out, keep the, you know, the nasty stuff out, that's what we have to do. Give it a little bit of a clean. And then we're going to weigh it. It's set in grams, which is my preference. So we've got 63. You can be plus or minus three grams. So it could be as high as 66 or as low as 60. Okay. Um, and this is 58, so a little bit low. Just fill that up with a little bit of water. The, uh, usually when these are done, they're set. You won't need to change them too often. It's just we've not done a 30 yet, I don't think. 60. Mm -hmm. Either side, make sure they're free swimming. Close the thing down and just double check your time. So it's one minute at 4200 RPM, one minute 4.2. And that is the start button. So this is spin one. And then in a, well, a little over a minute, we're gonna have, uh, we'll be ready for spin two. So I'll uh, do a separate video. If you have an imbalance that says ERR and it's error three message, but then it locks the machine for about five minutes, which is completely pointless, but you have to sit it out, so it's best to not the first one has the piston mechanism in it, and the second one has the tube in it, and all will become clear in a second. But basically the piston allows us to draw from the top of the sample down. Uh -huh. So, and if you think about it, this is just spun uh -huh. like that for a, a minute of 100 and, was it 180 miles an hour. Uh -huh. So we've separated the sample into the hematocrit, granulocytes, agranulocytes, all the nasty stuff. And the platelets remain in suspension in the plasma up here. So being very careful not to shake it or rock it too much. Pop it down there, and it's going to give the top a quick clean. Anything coming out of the centrifuge needs a good okay. clean. Yeah. And then taking the next biggest, you, you work from the uh, big ones down. That's going to be correct. You attach that here, and then you're just going to draw from the top down. And we only want the plasma. We don't want the red cells. So when you get good at this, you can get quite close and then slow right down and you'll see the red come up the line. So you see the red came to the top of the tubing. Uh -huh. So I've got all the plasma without taking any of the red cells. Uh -huh. And then this goes into tube B. And then we're just gonna, we can even eyeball the second one. And they look about right, so I set them up pretty well, just to prove the point. So 39.1, 39.4. Perfect. So one in either side. And I always recommend checking this. So the second spin is five minutes. So we just done this. Hey guys, just uh, give me a couple of seconds. I'm just uh, finishing up a training course. One second. And then that's the start button. Mm -hmm. Press that. And then we've got about seven minutes. If um, we can do another video. So we have, ta -da. and what we're looking at here is platelet pore plasma and platelets. So from all the blood, all we really wanted was that stuff at the bottom there. Yeah. We're gonna use some of the liquid yeah. as the vehicle to inject it and we discussed that at the start we said in this case we're going to do five cc's 
yeah. ultimately whether you do five seven ten you're still getting all of the yeah playlist so it doesn't affect the dose that's being delivered right. but what is affected is the concentration so obviously yes. if i use a little a small amount high concentration yep. large amount low concentration but in this instance we worked out that you're going to try and put two in the cuff and three into the joint space uh -huh. so again coming out of the centrifuge we give it a good clean we drain off this case the plasma that we do not want and you can see that they're marked on here and so yeah. 10 obviously that big one there's a five yeah. so i'll keep that fairly flat so i know that i'm reasonably accurate pull that down to 5 ml I usually go just a little bit lower because you can always add some back but if you've got too much that's your time. and then you've just got to resuspend the platelets back into the um, into the sample mm -hmm. um, reliably this is um, in the early 90% of all of the platelets available out of the sample so low 90% it's not 100% efficient but compared to everything else it's about 60% of that so it's oh, a, wow. a huge step up for the same amount of blood and platelets are sticky, right? Yeah. They don't just come up instantly. They don't just give themselves up. So you might be doing this for a few, a few seconds. That's all right. The two options here, if you were sterile in a procedure, which, you know, isn't that, are you going to be sterile for this one or? Uh, no. No. If you were, I could hold, clean this, hold it. You could draw it up with sterile gloves. That's great. Um, or I can pull it into a supplied 10 ml syringe. And as you can see, it's pretty much all been pulled up now. If you look at the bottom there, and you can see the re the residue, if mm -hmm. there's any left. Yeah. A couple so more for good luck. Now. Spin up for like two minutes, and then it, just yeah. keep checking the bottom. You'll yeah. see it stuck on there. Yeah. And then just give it a spin around there. I'm pretty confident we got everything off it. And then finally, that's that. And then we just draw it into the syringe. And like I said, it's. We've got four cc's there, so if I want to add that extra fifth cc, I just put, it's easier to register it off there. That's about one ml. And then just draw that up. So that gives us the volume that we, that we want. described that we wanted at the start. So that takes pretty much down to five cc's.